Hello, welcome back. In this uh, requirement we here we have, we want to stop a administrator or user to drop table. If we have an employee table and by accidentally the administrator drop the table. So in that case you have to, the only solution here is that you have to go back to your backup and recover it from there. Okay, it takes a lot of time and grip to to, to complete this, uh, this operation. We, 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 should, we should see a solution where we can have a built-in capability so that we do not want to drop, you know, if somebody is table on a production application, then we should not allow, you, allow that user to do that. And we immediately notify the DBA or the administration group that some user are trying to give drop statement. Okay, so here, so this is the requirement and how do, have, how do you solve this problem? And here is a solution using trigger which is called schema level trigger. Okay, so before we have seen different kinds of trigger like on a on on a table level, on a row level, and then we went and did some system level tab, uh, system level. Then th and and this is right now we are doing on a schema level. Just do a code walk through. And what we have here is that we are doing uh, the event here is that before create or alter or drop on schema. So this is the event and what is the action? The action is this. Okay. So that means so if somebody is going to do a drop table ABC, then what is going to happen is that aura underscore sys underscore event. This is a this is a parameter value and that value is going to contain drop. So essentially like you know, if I do a create table ABC, then this statement is going to have create. Okay. So therefore, since the last executed statement was drop, so therefore this value event event value is is drop so therefore this loop is satisfied and therefore we are coming to this if if block and we are raising an application error right away okay so therefore is not able to uh, unable to drop and then what we're going to do we are going to construct a message and send that message to the dba using send underscore email procedure okay so this is how you can guarantee that if you like you know on a production application no user can drop okay they can just insert delete update but they cannot do something drop or they cannot do a create a table like you know if you want to say uh, do something like you know want to get notified to the dba that if somebody is trying to create a table then what you can do you can just do if event is instead of drop you just make it to create okay so in that case we are going to uh, so, so that is how we are going to implement a trigger that is going to take care of anything that happens on the schema level and this is also called DDL triggers. Thank you.